Hi, my name is Anthony Liguori, and I lead the AWS Outposts engineering team. We're really excited about all the interest and feedback we've received from customers since pre-announcing Outposts at reInvent 2018. In this video, we want to give everybody a deeper look into what an Outpost is and how it works. And what better way to do this than by actually showing you a real Outpost rack and walking through how it works. This is an Outpost rack. This is actually one of our development systems here in Seattle. So it's missing doors and some other features, but the servers are almost identical to what we'll be shipping later in 2019. You may notice that there's a lot different about an AWS Outpost compared to the normal hardware that you've worked with in the past. That's because an Outpost consists of the same hardware we use within our public region data centers, and we've spent the last 12 years optimizing the rack design to deliver the best possible experience for our customers. The rack overall is 24 inches wide by 48 inches deep and 80 inches tall and comes with casters. So even though the insides are very unique, the rack should roll easily into any standard data center position you have available. Our racks come fully assembled and ready to be rolled into their final location. Within our data centers, we simply plug in power and networking and then automation takes over, making EC2 instances available after performing burn and testing. We have replicated this experience with AWS Outposts, and once you bring networking and power to the rack, the build process is fully automated. The first thing you might notice about this rack is that there's a bus bar in the back and a power shelf in the middle. Typical commodity servers have power supplies in every server. This leads to higher failure rates as these components regularly fail and are less efficient converting AC power to DC power. An outpost rack uses a centralized redundant power conversion unit and a DC distribution system in the backplane. This is all handled with blind mate connectors, so you simply snap a server into place and that's it. This architecture improves reliability, cost, energy efficiency, and serviceability. We also have included dual switches and outpost racks to increase availability and make servicing easier. Every active component in an AWS Outpost is redundant and can be removed and replaced without impacting any other workloads. We will notify you of any failure we detect and provide instructions on which component to remove and ship back to us, and we will ship you a replacement part that can just slide in. Bringing new capacity online is entirely automated, and you don't have to take any special actions to configure a replacement server. The switches in an Outpost are 100 gig capable, and you can bring up to 400 gig connections from each tour into your network. Of course, you can use 10 gig optics if you don't have a 100 gig capable network. We also have reserved ports on each tour to allow cabling outpost racks to each other to allow for creating outposts larger than a single rack, while still enabling high-speed communication between instances placed on separate racks. All of this is powered by our Nitro system, which includes a purpose-built hypervisor and hardware platform, including various Nitro cards, which are in every one of these servers. The most exciting part about Outpost to me is that every one of the servers you see here is available to you as the customer for running your applications. The Outpost uses the same control plane every other rack in EC2 uses. In fact, the only difference between this rack and every other EC2 rack is that we've included an additional Nitro trip in every server to help connect servers back to the public region. This ensures that all of your workloads that run in public AWS regions function exactly the same way within a local Outpost. This is all possible because we've built our hardware and software from the ground up for one purpose and one purpose only, to execute EC2 instances and AWS services on-premise. This isn't an experience you can get without having the same AWS infrastructure that we operate in public AWS regions on-premise. Outpost brings AWS to wherever you need it. That's all the time I have for today, but we're extremely excited to keep hearing your feedback about Outposts and look forward to bringing Outposts to a data center near you.